What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United with part two of the interview with Famous Wolf. The last interview, my camera was tripping, so we're doing a part two real quick to wrap it up. But uh, you were talking about the change when you went from gangbanging to the Chicano positive message. Where did that change come? So, as a video man, I got my high school diploma at 21. So, all my homies, you know, I, w I felt like I was... You know, there was nobody out. I, I wanted. I felt I always wanted to do something better in my life. I was wanting to go to the military, but it was harder for me to get in there. I would get pricks at times. Maybe I did pass the test, and sometimes I was close to. But what happened was, I joined martial arts when I was 22 years old, Dad. and so after that, uh, I just martial arts started changing my life, bro. Like I stopped hanging out in the streets. I wasn't, you know, worried about getting into trouble. I finally got my high school diploma. And so from there, as I was growing, I started, you know, looking up on YouTube. Uh, what happened was my aunt's man told me about him doing Chicano studies in college. So he told me how the Aztecs was not the real name, that Mexica is the real name, and that's where Mexican comes from. Yeah. So from there, I went on in 2014, I went online and started looking this up because I'm already a history buff a little bit. And then I found the Mexica movement. And then so from, and what happened too, while this was happening, you know, my little brother in San Jose, he got caught up in some shit at 14 years old, you know, and he's doing 10 years. So that helped change my life a little bit. When he went down like that, I was like, damn, I need to change myself, you know, see my little brother go down for just some hood shit. And so that also inspired me to change. Just having my kids too. I started having kids. I started getting my job. And I just wanted better for myself, bro. And your family. Yeah, because I always knew that this gang banging stuff was never nothing. It was it was a dead end road. I always knew that. But be, as I gotten older and as I never happened to luckily go to jail or prison, I just stepped I just figured why do, should I continue continue to teeter totter myself and hang on that thin rope waiting to get locked up, you know? Yeah, I feel you. So basically, you went from moving around between San Jose, Sacramento. You grew up around the gangster lifestyle in San Jose and in Sacramento. And you learned martial arts. Are you a black belt? Yeah, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. So watch out, man. This dude will kick your ass. <laughs> I've been uh, training nine and a half years. I, did, I do striking. Like, I train at Uriah Favors Ultimate Fitness, kickboxing, boxing, and... You know, I'm a striker mostly, though. So, no. so I'm going to have to make you my bodyguard, bro. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, um, well, that's good, bro. So what do you, what is your overall goal? What do you want to do with Chicano Ideas? And are you interested in getting into, like, activism or working in the community or going back to school, maybe becoming a teacher of history? Do any of those kind of things. What is your goal, basically? So my goal with Chicano Ideas is just to share... It just started off for me sharing information, wondering if there's any Chicanos like me thinking the way I'm thinking, looking for history and wanting to understand history the way I'm searching or wondering, you know, where's our people within the political realm within, you know, this system, we're not relevant. We don't got household names. Where's our leaders at? Where's anybody saying something? So like, I don't know, who knows, maybe one day I could be an activist. Like this is light, this is light activism. Just me speaking my mind and sharing my ideas. This is like level one's entry level. So it's just up to me, uh, you know, if I meet the right people, like I was asking you, or come around the right people, you know, maybe something could happen. For but sure. Other than that, I'm just trying to speak truth on history because I always talk about colonialism. Mm -hmm. And real quick, as I'll just talk about how I always talk about not Latino, not Hispanic. Yeah. Some people, they still don't know. Hispanic means people who are colonized by Spain, who took on the ethnicity of the Spaniard identity. So that's what Hispanic comes from. Latino brings in everybody who is like Portuguese, Italian, because Brazilians are Latino and yeah. Hispanic, so that's what people don't understand. Because they speak a Latin-based like, language, that's where like, that comes so from, yeah, yeah. Like, for me, I don't identify myself with those, but that's just stuff that I talk about. I like to talk about colonialism, how, you know, we were slaves, too, how we're, we're colonized on our own land. We don't know who we are. We're misguided. Like I said, I don't speak Spanish, so I, 
a uh, Mexican to speak Spanish, you know, I'm a white boy, I'm whitewashed, but you know, yeah. they don't understand their history too, that they're colonized, that Spanish and English both come from Europe. Yeah. So, you know, you're no more than me and I'm no more than you. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a complicated thing, bro. Dar, are you? I know you're gonna hate me for this. Are you ever gonna try to learn any kind of Spanish just I mean, to communicate with I mean, some of the yeah, people? It's good to know other languages. Yeah. I mean, I used to, I kind of understand it, but not really. But I mean, I don't got nothing against it. It's just understanding for who we are because you know people think that's us. And yeah. If you don't speak Spanish, you're not Mexican. But we just gotta that's understanding identity and where I feel you. From. That's what I like to teach, you know. Yeah. And just, you know, I, I could be considered pretty radical to people, you know, because I'm not. I don't say I'm a proud, a proud American or yeah. proud American, because you know, to me, we were here before America, so we don't have to honor a system. Yeah. That was not made for us. Basically, we didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. And we're basically an we're basically an occupied indigenous. Territory. What'd you tell me the natives were called here? The natives of Sacramento, the known tribe is called the Nessian people. So the Nessian people were controlled by John Sutter and Sutter's Oh Fort, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Sutter's Fort is between Midtown and down, Downtown and basically the Nessian people built that town. They built that little uh they used to they're the ones who kinda built the town, but that last little household of Sutter's Fort that was that's where you know he kept the natives and yeah they used to run towards like tahoe or up north and he used to go search for them and bring them back down like we were slaves too that's yeah we don't understand and you do know that Sutter's fort when it was part of mexico was called nueva halvicia or new halvicia okay, okay. a lot of people don't know that but um yeah it's just like in oakland and and san jose the native, the native people of those regions were called the ohlone people you heard of them right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they were massacred and decimated by the mission system out there yeah. you know all the missions like in san jose santa clara you know dolores in san francisco yeah. you know yeah they enslaved them and, and then you know the californios came later and did similar things but yeah. you know a lot of mexicanos came with the californios and uh those were like indigenous people that were basically how can i say uh, uh who basically took on a spanish identity right, right. yeah and and uh, they ended up getting the, the the bad end of the stick too at the end, you know, when the U.S. took over California. But that's a whole other story for a whole other time. But um, yeah, man. So that that's pretty dope, bro. That you're keeping it positive. You're staying out of trouble. That you're not caught up in gangs or in drugs or in or dead. Because a lot of hey, a lot of I, I don't know how it is a sack, but where I'm from, bro, in Oakland, a lot of young rats are dead right now, bro, and they they never got a chance to tell their story, bro, or to make a change. They died young, bro. Right. So it's a good thing that you're still a young brother and you didn't get caught up in any of that. And it's just like me, I tell people all the time, I'm 43 years old from East Oakland and statistically people like me shouldn't even be alive right now. So I shouldn't even be here talking with you. Hey. Cause we die young. Look, if I was, I always said, like if I was in prison and in jail right now, that wouldn't be a surprise to people that know me or my family. But me being a black belt, me being a family man who once had his own house and me reading and history the way that that surprises people that yeah the surprise like oh shit rudy's doing this but if i was in prison that wouldn't have been a surprise you know? yeah yeah i feel you bro yeah man it's a it's a beautiful thing when you see young rasa change change their lives around bro yeah. you know what i mean and and you know i'm i'm really glad that you reached out to me a long time ago you know what I mean? When I seen your channel, I was like, that's pretty dope, man. Another Chicano is doing this, and he's from Northern California as well. And, um, yeah, man, it's just glad. I'm glad I got to hook up with you and, um, and, and, and you know, and learn about you, about your history, and you learned about my history and about me. And hopefully we could grow together, bro, and, and blow up on this YouTube thing <laughs> and make positive changes and bring a positive message. So is there any last thing you want to give out there to the community, to the raza, to the gente? I could say like as in if you're younger because I'm 31 I'm right in the middle so if you're younger I just say man just stay true to yourself straight stay true to your goals and your passion in life because it's if you don't know your purpose in life but if you have a passion a passion can lead to a purpose and my passion is martial arts but my purpose I don't know what it is yet but as in the older cats like hey 
you know uh, they're still they're they're youngins that want change and you know we're pursuing it and it's up to the ogs too to you know help uh help the youngsters that want to be led led and help the youngsters that are trying to lead help them lead you know yeah all right man well that's good bro hopefully uh you do good and and keep in contact and when are you gonna come to oakland to visit me man for i can show you around one day i don't know man i'm slacking man you gotta come soon bro right, right, come right. kick it i'm gonna show you the home of the black panthers and the chicano movement and all that stuff bro okay, okay. so yeah we can make a video when we kick it out there right all right bro well this is jose with oakland latinos united kicking it with with Famous Wolf, a.k.a. Chicano Ideas. Be sure to subscribe to his channel, subscribe to it, you know, like his videos, and uh, I will leave a link at the bottom to his channel for you to check it out. This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, over and out.